what you want. I want a brand new house on an episode of Cribs. Hey, what's going on? Hey, Ben, how's it going? Good. You want to show me around your crib? Sure thing. Let's go. Let's go. All right. We got our, so this is our, our front door. It's always locked. So this is our laundry machine. So if you want to do laundry in this building, you can get a laundry card here and then you go swipe up at the machine that's on each floor. Now right here, we have our mailboxes. Everybody is given, or every apartment is given a mailbox, um, but you're given one key per apartment for your mail. Perfect, our elevator is almost here and we're gonna get to bring you right up into our apartment. There we go. So we're gonna get the best elevator here um, and you'll see why in a minute. All right, so we're on the, the fifth floor. Fifth floor yeah. Now, if you hold the door open, it'll just shut down the elevator and go to the basement. So that's why there's usually only one elevator available at a time. So. We're here at the fifth floor. We've arrived, we made it safely, we survived this time. Yep. Every floor is identical. So you've got this little space like this. We have two things here. We have our trash room. So you get in here. I don't know what this bin's for. And then you throw your trash down here. There's a sign that says it has to be in a bag or they'll find you money. So. And then we also have a second room here and this is our laundry. If you want to do laundry in this building, here it is. Just ignore the person in there. So our apartment's all the way down at this end. Pro tip, there's a set of stairs on each end of the building. It says emergency exit only, but no alarm goes off if you go through it. So don't waste your time in the morning waiting for the elevator. Just take the stairs right down. All right, we've almost arrived and we are here at our apartment. Who is it? Can you keep it? All right. Welcome to my crib. Hey, what's going on? So here we are. <laughs> so right as you enter, you're, uh, you got your threshold here. And we're actually going to go this way first. We're going to look at the, the kitchen. So everybody's given the same kitchen. Now, if you look at the photos for this building online, you're going to see that they have like granite countertops. They're massive. That's if you rent directly from the building. If you rent through NUTV, you get this <laughs> for a kitchen. <laughs> Or, uh, sorry, if you if you run through the university, you get this sorry excuse for a kitchen. So there's no microwave given with you. There's no toaster. Um, those are all things you're gonna have to get for yourself. You do get a nice four. You can't call it a four burner stove, but you get a four electric stove. You get your oven. Um, you get a dishwasher. That's pretty convenient. Um, there's a garbage disposal in here, um, and lots of storage. We have so much storage for everything. You also get your fridge freezer. Um, Nothing exciting here. It's our fridge. You can see the mouse traps in the corner, obviously. It's a fun feature of living in Boston. Uh, so yeah, so this is our kitchen. Um, you get a nice little window out into, uh, what, what do we call this? The living room. So this is our living room. Um, so you can see everything they've given us. So they've given us a table, four chairs. Um, we got our couch, little, uh, coffee table here. They gave us two more chairs as well. We brought the rug. They also give you one lamp, which is right there. Um, it's not enough light for the room, so you are probably gonna have to go buy extra lamps. That's why you'll see we have that one there. Um, another one they gave us, they gave us this table here, which we use as a TV stand. We got all our consoles plugged in. Um, one of the things they don't tell you about living off campus, because this is technically off campus, is they don't give you uh, Xfinity through the university. So we have an over-the-air antenna, so we're able to get all the TV channels for free which is really great. Um, we've also got a great view of Carter Fields because we're on this side of the building. 1065 Tremont will not have this view. It will be facing in, uh, towards Roxbury instead of out towards the field. Um, we've also got a thermometer, so that's great. Better than uh, certainly first year housing. Uh, if you get around our, our stack of boxes here, um, we have a thermometer so you can set uh, heating, cooling, uh, the fan temperature. 
Um, it's pretty good when it works. So you talked about the TV, but how do you get on the internet? Yeah, so the university technically gives you a $100 billing credit each semester, um, each to pay for the internet, um, but you do have to go find it yourself. Personally, we use Xfinity here. We get their gigabit internet. Um, it works out pretty well. Um, you can kind of reach New Wave from here, but I wouldn't recommend it. All right, so we're gonna go on next here. Um, your kitchen is there, but where do you store your food? That's for the pantry. So come on in here and we'll, we'll show you around. So uh, we did purchase the shelf ourselves, um, but you do get the rack up there. Um, and we just have a system to, to store all of our, our stuff. So where do you sleep? Funny you should ask, right here, come check it out. So this is the marvelously decorated bedroom. Uh, we've got, they give you two beds, um, they give you two desks. So just down the hall for the bedroom is we got our, our hall bathroom here. So it's pretty decent. It's got a full size shower in here. Um, it's got lots of storage under the sink. Um, there is a toilet. So all the things you need. So then I showed you where I sleep, but where do you sleep? Oh, funny you should ask. It's right in here. Well, let's take a look then. All right, so this bedroom is uh, a little larger. Um, because it's still university housing, you get all your uh, nice dorm furniture. You get those kind of chairs. Mm -hmm. I personally would recommend going with uh, bringing out an office chair. I got this one here, it's nice and comfortable. You know, when you first move in here, you know, it's just like plain old walls and just regular dorm furniture. There's not really a lot going on, so I'd recommend bringing your own sort of decor up here. Let's go Mets, baby, love the Mets. We also have this nice big fancy walk-in closet. There's uh, plenty of room in here, plenty of storage. You can um, put whatever you need in here. It's nice, nice big open space. Very good. Uh, we've also got the bathroom. This one is slightly smaller than the other bathroom, but uh, it's still fine. It's just a pretty uh, standard kind of thing in there. Not much to see. Uh, you got anything to add? I got a can of beans over there. That's that's my one thing, I guess. So, thanks for showing me around your apartment. Yeah, no problem. But it's time for you to go. Okay. Get out.